Mom. Miss Bennet, I hope this. I beg your pardon. I must find Mr. Garden at this moment. A business that cannot be delayed. I have not an instant to lose. Good God, what is the matter? Of course, I will not detain you for a moment, but let me go, or, or let the servant go and fetch Mr. and Mrs. Gardner. You are not well. You cannot go yourself. No, I must. Come, I insist. This will be for the best. Hello there. Would you have Mr. and Mrs. Gardner fetched here at once? They walked in the direction of... The church. The church. Yes, sir. At once. You are not well. Man, I'll call a doctor. No. I am well. I am well. Is there nothing you can take for your present relief? A uh, glass of wine, can I get you one? Truly, you look very ill. No, I thank you. There is nothing the matter with me. I am quite well. I am only distressed by some dreadful news which I've just received. <laughs> I'm sorry, forgive me. No, no. Just received a letter from Jane with such dreadful news. It cannot be concealed from anyone. And my younger sister has left all her friends, has eloped, has thrown herself into the power of Mr. Wickham. They've run away together from Brighton. You know him too well to doubt the rest. She has no money, no connections, nothing that can tempt him. But I think that I might have prevented it. I, who knew what he was, had his character been known, this could not have happened. But it is all too late now. I'm grieved indeed, grieved shocked. But is it certain, absolutely certain? Oh, yes. They left Brighton together on Sunday night. They were traced as far as London, but not beyond. They are certainly not gone to Scotland. And what has been done? What has been attempted to recover her? My father has gone to London. And Jane writes to beg my uncle's immediate assistance. I hope that we shall leave within half an hour. But what can be done? I know very well that nothing can be done. How is such a man to be worked on? How are they even to be discovered? I have not the smallest hope. She's lost forever and our whole family must partake of her ruin and disgrace. I'm afraid you have long been desiring my absence. This unfortunate affair will, I fear, prevent my sisters having the pleasure of seeing you at Pemberley today. Oh, yes. Be so kind as to apologize for us to Miss Darcy. Say that urgent business calls us home immediately. And if you would be so kind, to conceal the unhappy truth as long as possible. I know that it cannot be long. You may be assured of my secrecy. But I've stayed too long. I shall leave you now. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye. I'll never see him again.